If you have a bearded dragon or are thinking about getting one, something you'll have to do on occasion is trim their nails. So today we are going to talk about how to tell when your bearded dragon needs a nail trim, how to do it, and how to prevent those nails from getting overgrown later. First, let me introduce the bearded dragon who's going to be helping us out today and actually needs a nail trim. This is Ferrari, and he is one of our rescue bearded dragons that is currently for adoption here at Snake Discovery. He's kind of an abandonment case, but he's a really healthy dragon. He just needs a nail trim, so we figured this was a perfect opportunity to show you how to do it. First, let's talk about how to tell when your bearded dragon needs a nail trim. There's a few different ways to go about doing it, or a couple flags that you'll notice. First off, if their nail is long enough that it pushes their toe sideways on a flat surface, that's usually a sign that they need that nail to be trimmed. If their nails are getting caught in carpet, whether you're using carpet for their substrate or if they're running around on the floor and it's a carpeted floor and you notice them tugging at their feet because the nails are getting stuck, that's another sign that they need a trim. Or if you're just simply holding them and their nails are sharp enough that they are leaving scratches behind and even breaking the skin, I mean, you want holding your bearded dragon to be an enjoyable experience, not a painful one. So those are the things to look for in a beardy that might need a nail trim. So now let's talk about how to do it. The first thing you'll need is, of course, just a nail clippers. And for this, you can just use normal nail clippers for people. You don't have to get anything special for or fancy for bearded dragon nails. Those will work just fine. You'll also need just in case there's an emergency, you'll need quick stop or septic powder. This is going to stop any bleeding if you accidentally trim their nail a little bit too short. This will cauterize it right away. So this I like to set aside and have it open and at the ready in case you need it. Ideally you won't, but it's good to be prepared. If you don't want to go the clipper route and your bearded dragon is a very patient one, you can instead use a nail file and you can hand file down their nails. That tends to take quite a while though and it's pretty tedious and usually their attention spans aren't that that long or they're not going to be that patient for you. So that's why I like to use the clippers to get it done a bit faster. If you want to go above and beyond, you can use a small Dremel tool made for pet nails. We'll get into this a little bit more later. You're going to eat it? That's not food. No, <laughs> I'm sorry. That's a switch. Sir, quit trying to eat the Dremel. According to him, you also need a dubia roach. Yes. You need bribery. Yes. All right, bribery stage has been completed. Yes. He is happy now. He is ready for his nail trim. Perfect. Now let's talk about how to hold your beardy for the nail trim. If your bearded dragon is a well-socialized one and pretty tolerant, you might be able to do the trimming by yourself. You just hold them in one hand and between two of your fingers kind of hold back one of their feet. And then you take your clippers and the part you're going to clip off is just the very tip of the nail, the thinner part, the, the sharpest point basically, is all you're gonna be taking off. Oh. If they're a bit unruly though, or a little bit squirmy, it might be a two person job. You'll need one person to hold them still while the other one does the trimming. And if they're really squirrely like this guy is here, you may even have to towel them to calm them down. And to do that, you simply wrap a towel around their head. And when a bearded dragon is in the darkness, give them a few seconds, they typically calm right down because they're in the dark and in the wild, that means that it's time to go to sleep. So when they're wrapped up and they're calmed down again, you can do a lot more with them. You might be able to do the trim by yourself now, or you can still use a second person. It's gonna be the same thing though. You take your clippers and clip off just that outer tip of the nail where it kind of cuts in and the part that extends further is a lot thinner than the thick base of the nail. It's that thinner part that you're trimming off. All right, his back feet are done. And if you're able to and they don't freak out, you can set them on the surface too and then use both hands just to hold a foot and then trim with the other hand. Like I said earlier though, if you wanna go either above and beyond or you realize that the clipper you're using leaves kind of sharp edges around the nail, you can use a Dremel tool to round them out right away. Chances are, if you leave them as is like this after using a clipper, they'll dull themselves out after a day or two running around in their enclosure. But if you wanna get it done right away, you can use the Dremel or you can use a nail file and if they're willing to tolerate it the nail file takes a little bit longer but you would just file down the uh, sharper edges of the newly trimmed nail i however like to use this dremel tool and we'll put links to everything in the description below in case you need anything i like this because it spins this top part for us and that seems to be a little bit quicker at rounding out the nails if you want to use the Dremel tool, you're just simply applying a little bit of pressure from the nail onto the rough pad of the Dremel and letting the Dremel do the work for you. 
However, the Dremel is not necessary. It's really only if you prefer those nails to be rounded out. So again, see that sharp point at the end of the nail that extends past the base of the nail? That's the part we're trimming off here. There we go, all done. Awesome. All right, our first nail trim was a success. He wasn't too happy with it, but once the towel was around him, he calmed right down, and yours probably will too if he's a little bit ornery at first. If you accidentally clip the nail a little bit too far and you hit the quick or the bloodline to the nail, it will start bleeding, and it likely hurts them a little bit too. So it's something you don't want to do, obviously, but thankfully it's usually not a serious issue, and that's why you have septic powder or quick stop on hand. What I do in a case where you need septic powder to stop a nail from bleeding, is I reach into the container with my index finger, scoop a small pinch worth out of it, and then I take the nail that is currently bleeding and I set it right onto my finger that's covered in septic powder and apply a little bit of pressure into it for about 10 seconds. That will most likely stop any bleeding that happens, but if it doesn't, you may have to take a slightly larger pinch of the powder and actually pinch it onto the nail for a good 30 seconds and that should stop it for you. Chances are you won't hit any quicks if you're just taking the tips off of the nails, but in case it happens, now you know what to do, and that's why it's so important to have septic powder on hand. So, uh, while you were talking, I found a cricket on the ground. That's what you were catching. Yeah. Okay, do I was wanna, wondering. Do you want to see if he wants a cricket? I'm sure he'd eat a cricket. All right. It's always a good idea to reward your bearded dragon yeah. with treats afterwards anyway. Yeah. All right, so here let's we see. Go. Do you want a cricket, you little dude? It's Will a you? fast cricket. He's been on the loose for a little while. Oh, he's like, no. He's giving him the side eye. Yeah. Cricket's like, I'm not moving. Yep. Oh, he's too fast for you. Oh, <laughs> nice. There it goes. Good job, dude. If you want to prevent your bearded dragon from getting too long of nails, or if you just want to help maintain them at a proper length, what works really well for us is just offering a 12 by 12 inch piece of rough textured slate tile. They're actually the same tiles we used in our facility's bathroom remodel. We just had extras, so we used them for bearded dragons, and they work really well at dulling out those nails and keeping them trimmed for you. I think you can also get them at like Home Depot or Menards for like 97 cents. Yeah, they're like under a dollar for one of these. Just, yeah, Home Depot, Menards, yeah. they're cheap. You can either use these tiles in areas where your bearded dragon is active, like where you feed your beardy, so when he's running around on the tile, it'll help grind down those nails for you. Or a lot of people just use these tiles in the entire enclosure to keep them ground down. This is an acceptable form of a substrate for bearded dragons. But that pretty much sums up how to tell if a beardy needs a nail trim, how to do it, and how to keep them trimmed in the future. I hope you learned something new today, and as always, we'd like to thank our Patreon backers for their very generous support. Your contributions allow us to take in these rescue bearded dragons. Wow, you have a lot of energy right now. My goodness. This is actually a female that we recently took in and we've got this male Ferrari here. You'll see a video on both of these coming out pretty soon. They're kind of a uh, neglect situation, so we're very happy to be able to take in these special cases, get them all rejuvenated, and then adopt them out to good homes. So thanks again for watching everyone, and we'll see you next time. It might be a two-person job. You might need one person to hold the beardy. Aww. While he poops on the counter. While he poops on the counter. Oh, gosh. Wow. Jeez, dude. Okay. Uh, this is a blooper, right? Yeah, that reeks. <laughs> really? He's like, well, a dubia went in, so yeah. I needed to make space. Get her away. You want, like, a bug Get her or away. Something? Oh, <laughs> don't you yeah. touch my tail. You can use a small Dremel tool. This really you only want to use... Sorry. Good job. You're going to eat it? That's not food. No, I'm sorry. That's a switch. Sir, quit trying to eat the Dremel. Can you redo that? <laughs> really? You weren't re You told me to go. I have to redo that whole part. Sorry. That's okay. It didn't take very long. <laughs> Where did we start? She really likes roaches. Yeah, she does. Oh, oh. no, 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 no. <laughs>